Good morning. Good morning, good morning. Well, hi, Tyler. How are you? We're going to make an interesting card today. Um, I've been seeing all over the interwebs um, all of these alcohol ink cards. And so I thought that we would play some play with some alcohol inks today. Um, so that's what we're going to do. That's what's going to happen. It is stinking cold here today. Let me tell you that. Really freaking cold. It's 27. That's cold. I'm not interested in the 27 degrees. Just saying. Um, who else is here? Well, good morning, Cheryl. So um, I've taken this sentiment off of the I'm yours sentiment set. And I cut it out with the die. And it's just embossed with black powder on... Um, Sweet sentiment paper, of course. Of course. Um, I have also pre-made a tropical flora and um, I just used gray distress inks for this and just made it very, very simply. I stamped it in London Fog and I used some gray distress ink and I called it a day. So really, really, really simple. Um, but I want this to be wicked simple so that I can show you um, how it pops against the alcohol inks. Before you get cool again this weekend. Um, so I think we're going to get started. Yeah, 20s is super cold for you Floridians. What are you going to do? Okay, so I have some Yupo paper here, and this is like translucent Yupo paper. I've never used this kind before, but I thought, hey, why not? So it's what I bought. Good morning, Carrie. So I have this cool translucent Yupo paper, like, pretty fun. Not gonna lie. I thought it was cool. Um, so I have my alcohol blending solution. I have my little hand pump air dryer thingy. Um, yeah, no thank you. Hey, auntie. Um, not interested in being super cold. Not even gonna lie. So I pulled out all of the pearl ones, the pearlized ones. I thought they were cool. So I just pulled out a rainbow of them. And I'm not going to do it like in rainbow order. I'm just going to do like a rainbow. So, hey, Nona. Apparently my message worked this morning. So, I'm going to drop a couple of drips of this. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. On here. And then I'm going to add a little of the blending solution. I should have opened this first. Tyler, can you come open this for me? Oh, I got it. And then I'm gonna use my little hand dryer and we're gonna just spread these out. And you see a couple of drips of ink goes a very long way. Now, I don't care if it's like specifically totally dry because I'm going to keep working. So you got to make sure that you shake it up enough that the little ball is in there, um, shakes around because these are pearlized. Oh my gosh, Tyler, look at this orange. And look, it's all clogged up. There we go. I 
I can sit here and play with these like forever. They are so fun. And you never get the same thing. And so like, see how these aren't like blending into one another? Just put a couple drips there and boom, you're gonna get blending. These are so stinking cool. So fun to play with. Um, Holly, it's Yupo. And it's translucent. Oh my gosh, that's funny. <laughs> we'll tell her now she has a video to go along with that. Doing a couple of colors at once, cause you know, why not? And they mix and make such cool Like, I'm sorry, I love browns, and that red and the green together makes such a pretty, like, coffee brown, latte brown. Now, this is going to change a lot when I start putting in the blues. Hi, Elizabeth. I hope I'm saying your name right. It looks like Elizabeth to me, but hey, you never know. I could be wrong. Obviously, I'm going over the top with teal because we all know that story. Look at how pretty that is. Oh my gosh, they're so fun. They're so fun. And they're so easy. Even somebody who's paranoid about getting dirty, like me, can play with them and not freak out. Don't mind my washing machine playing music for us. Oh, that purple and teal mixed together is so stinking pretty. Look at that green that the teal and yellow makes. So cool. Okay, I have one more color and this one is Intrigue. Elizabeth, yeah. I thought so, but I mean, my name is Jamie, and it looks like Jamie, so, you know, I never like to assume that people's names are something. I'm covering up this whole paper. We're going nuts here. Could you just sit and watch this for hours? Hi, Rebecca. 
Ew, 26. I'm all, ew, that's gross. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I have this really cool silver mixative. And I want to put a little more teal on here. So I'm just going to do a couple more drips of teal and add some silver with it. And I've never used the mixatives. I have all of them, but I've never used them. So we're gonna see how that goes. I can tell you right now, they're considerably thicker than the other alcohol inks. So how about that? That's fun. Look at how pretty that is. Now, I think this one in the middle is too, too much for me. So I'm gonna thin them out a little bit more. And you just keep adding the solution until it gets to where where you want it. Or until your arthritis kicks in. You can use your heat tool for this too. Oh my gosh, you guys. Look at how cool that is. Color explosion. That's so awesome. Okay. So now I am going to clean up my board. I'm going to put my cap back on my teal so that I don't spill it everywhere because that's important. And also on my blending solution. <laughs> squeaky, squeaky, squeaky. It does clean up very easily though. Super cool. Okay. Now we're nice and clean. I'll grab a tissue and dry it off. Normally, I'd just let it sit here and dry, but, you know. I'm sure you guys don't want to sit here for an hour while it dries. So, okay. So now, check this out. So cool. Um, so you can see I still have some wet spots on here, and I don't want to work um, while there is wet spots. So I'm gonna grab my heat tool.
about as good as I'm going to get it for right now. <sighs> like that's going to help after I heated it and it's not dry. Okay. Woke up sharp today. Um, seal, no, it is translucent. <laughs> Are you guys making fun of me for cleaning up after myself? Okay, so um, I'm going to cut this down to my card size. So um, this is a 5 by 7 sheet, and my card is A2. So I, and then I cut the mat already. So, you know, my mat is, um, oops, I want to do it this way. Hold on, let me think. So five, so I'm going to cut this a half an inch down um, because I want the same size all the way around. And I want to get two cards out of this. So four and a quarter would be minus a half an inch would be three and three quarters. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. So this piece I'll set aside because it's a little bit small. And I will use it like in my art journal or as an element on a card or something like that. Hi, Melissa. So I have this cool piece and I'm going to put it on my awesome piece of black paper. So let me get my Fairly Arts glue out. This Yupo would look really, really, really cool with Pear Blossom Press lights behind it because it's translucent. So um, it would glow. Everything would glow. <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen. How cool is that? I think it's so pretty. Okay. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out, again, my texture paste, and I'm going to use, hi, thank you, I'm going to use this. Now, the reason I'm doing this after I glued this on is I want this to go off the edge. So I'm actually going like edge to edge with this, and do I want it like that? Do I want it like what should we do? Should we do it from the corner, or from the bottom, from the side? What do we do? That's how you made your wall card, yeah. Corner, bottom, or side. So we can do from the corner like this, from the bottom like this, or from the side like this. What do you guys think? Side, side, side. Okay, that's what we're going to do then. Now, I'm not re-spraying this with pixie spray because there's a little bit of pixie spray left even after I washed it from yesterday. So, I'm just going to go with that. Okay. Then, I'm going to grab my little spatula. Grab some texture paste. And we're going to go to town. Like I said, I want this to go off the edge of the black, so I'm gonna make sure that everything that is touching that black paper gets coated. <laughs> Tyler, do you see my cake decorating skills right now? 
that was totally a frosting technique. Okay. I know, right? I did wash a stencil. I washed several of them. I actually um, filled the sink full of soap and water and really washed them. <gasps> Look at how cool. Oh my God. Okay, now our favorite glitter shitter. And you gotta be sure and get, you know, tons of glitter. Cause that's what it's all about, right? Even though I'm sure none of that glitter. <laughs> You're still giggling from yesterday with the glitter shitter. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at how awesome that is. Okay, so. Let me grab my towel. And see, Tyler, I'm going to have to wash that stencil today, too, because... It has texture paste on it. And if I leave the texture paste on it, it'll never come off. And then I'll have to do the horrible thing of opening a new stencil and marking it out of stock and all those terrible things that Sandy and Cameron yell at me for doing. Yeah, Holly, that's totally what I wanted was to have this super cool bright white against that background. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I think, oh yeah, that's going to be awesome. Okay, so this is so wet. So apparently I need to dry it some. So give me just a moment while I pull out my heat gun. Right? No more. Eight. I didn't have 800. I had three. Maybe four. Whatever. You don't know me. so that it uncurls. That's pretty stinking cool, you guys. Not gonna lie. Kind of in love with this. I even made the paper wrinkle. That's what happens when you put a little bit too much heat on it. Okay, so now we're going to glue this down. And yes, I use a lot of glue. Ooh, the refills came yesterday. So we will have refills in the store very soon. Very, very soon. I have to make more of the B card from yesterday because I have multiple people asking me for the B card. Hi, Leah. Right, that's what score tape is for. 
It's okay. That's what barely art glue is for. Okay. I'm going to turn on my glue gun here so I can glue down this flower. How cool is this? So we can either, the way I've glued it down, we can either open it this way or we can open it this way. I think I want it to be vertical like this. And I think I want this flower to be like right here because that's wicked cool. So I'm actually going to take the... Um, stem off of this flower and this is the tropical flora like I said there's only a few of these left in stock so if you don't have it you're gonna want it ask Tyler how cool the tropical flora is it's so cool Okay, and then I'm actually gonna count, grab a couple of leaves just for funsies. I have a couple of these big palm leaves that I think would look really cool. And then I'm gonna grab some of these long skinny leaves. Everyone needs the tropical flora, right? Leah's here. She will attest to that too. If you do not have the tropical flora, what the hell, man? <laughs> if I set that there, I can deal with some of the glare from the light. All right. So here we go. Oh, not quite. Did I turn on? Yep, I turned it on. Okay. So then I guess that gives me a minute to curl these. If I can get my pliers out. And now that I have these alcohol inks out, you know I'm gonna be making a few more cards cause they are so cool. These big tropical leaves are from Prima. And I will tell you that the wire is not connected to them very well. In real life too, right? <laughs> they don't thrive in the snow, Leah. They don't. <laughs> I can tell you that right now. Look, I have ink on my fingers. Ew. Ew. I'm going to have to go wash my hands. Negative 33 Celsius today. Holy crikey. That's like zero for us. Well, just under zero. Okay, now we'll see if my glue gun's hot. It's getting there. Do you see how fast this glue gun heats up? Like, I literally didn't turn it on until I told you that I did. I'm loving it. I don't think I got enough glue on the flower. 
So we're gonna add a little bit more glue under there. Now you can add other flowers to this if you want. You don't have to just do the one, but when I have a big flower like this, I sometimes like to just do one big old fat flower right in the middle. So, Um, they're right here, Nona. <laughs> In the package. <laughs> I had a pina colada the other night, Auntie. It was delicious. Although a little sweet. A little bit sugary for me. Yeah, Melissa, you're even more cold, aren't you? Like, super de duper cold. Like, ridiculously cold. <laughs> Check that out. You guys, that's super cool. And then our snarky sentiment, and that just makes the whole thing, right? So we're going to grab some sweet pops. And of course, you know, I'm going to put like a million sweet pops on here, right? You guys are well aware of that. Well, hello, Janet. How are you? Good morning. You guys don't forget about the spring break retreat coming up. If you have not registered... Go ahead and make that happen. We're gonna have so much fun. Lots of 3D projects. Um, lots of coloring, games, prizes, you know. Um, we have some amazing guest teachers. Tyler, Lydia Fiedler, um, Sandy, myself. Um, we got all kinds of good stuff going on. So. You will definitely want to register for that. I think this is a perfect Valentine. All right, friends. There we go. Um, don't forget this Saturday, we also have a digi release, which is going to be wicked awesome. Check that out. Super colorful, super easy. I just dented that. Don't mind me. Um, glittery, fun, 3D. I know, Melissa, yours will ship out today. Um, did you get the dyes with the sentiments? I didn't think the dyes with the sentiments would be like such a thing, but OMG, like I love these outline dies for the sentiments. They are so stinking cool and they make everything so easy. Um, I mean, I could add some sequins, but I'm not overly worried about it or some enamel dots or whatever, but it, it doesn't, that doesn't bug me, um, because of the mixed media nature of this. If it wasn't so mixed media, then yes, I would definitely be adding something over that. But for me, that doesn't necessarily bug me. So anyways, guys, thanks for joining me. I will take a picture of this. I will download this video and put it on our YouTube. 
And um, don't forget to head over and register for the spring break virtual retreat. And I, what is today? Today is Thursday, so I will see you tomorrow, I believe. Um, I know that I have a hair appointment. I just can't remember when. So, um, yeah. But anyways, thanks guys. I will see you guys hopefully tomorrow. Same bat channel, same bat place. <laughs> Toodles.